Hey guys, welcome back to the Sound Synthesis Architect. I'm Jared, and today we're going to take a look at how to make a subkick bass using Massive. Let's head on over. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up your DAW. For me, I'm using Pro Tools 10. And you're going to go ahead and open up Massive, or, uh, I mean, this, this could work for uh, any number of VST instruments. It just depends on how you uh, route them and what effects you use on them. Um, so we're going to open up Massive in an instrument channel and then we're going to go over and we're going to do File New Sound so that we have a completely raw uh, form of Massive. Right now it's got a, a square saw wave. You're gonna, for this uh, instrument we're doing just a, an 808 sub kick so we're only going to be using one oscillator for this one. Uh, in the first oscillator, you can go to the drop down and we're going to go to a uh, sine square wave. From there, we're going to take the pitch down two octaves. So we're going to go down to a negative 24 in the pitch. And you can take your WT position and take that all the way down. You can leave your intensity and your amp all the way up. And you can hear that we already have a, a nice fat subby sound. And so what we're going to do now is we're really going to take that sound and we're going to play with the timbre a bit and kind of uh, widen it out and give it more space. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the, the first envelope. And since we want to make this a kick, we want the attack to be really fast. So we're going to take the attack all the way down. We're going to drop the level. And then we're going to bring the decay down just slightly. Um, from there, you're going to take this envelope and you're going to attach it to the, uh, the first oscillator and you're going to bring that back up two octaves. And that gives you what's starting to sound like a kind of kick sound. It's still a sub with kind of a trail uh, of a tail on the end of that. And uh, we're actually going to take care of that in a second. Um, for now, we're going to go over to the first filter, and you can go down to the drop down, and we're going to put on low pass 4. And for that, you're going to bring the cutoff all the way up, and you're going to drop your resonance all the way down. And you can go ahead and turn off filter 2, because we're not going to be using that. Uh, now let's go back down to envelope 4. You're going to do a similar thing there that you did to envelope 1, and you're going to bring the attack all the way down. You're going to bring the level of the decay all the way down. And for this one, we're actually going to bring the decay up just slightly. Um, from there, let's go over to Effects 1. And you're going to do the drop down there, and you're going to bring in the Classic Tube. This is just going to kind of fill in your sub sound a little bit and uh, give it a little more oomph. Uh, you can bring the wet dry and the drive down to about a quarter. And then we're going to go into effects 2. And for that one we're going to do a dimension expander. And this is going to kind of uh, play with the phase a little bit and um, give more space to the sound. Uh, for that we're going to bring the wet dry down to about a quarter. And we're going to bring the size down to probably about an eighth. And then you can go ahead and go over to the EQ and turn the EQ on and bring the low shelf up just slightly. Uh, that's just going to kind of bring up the amplitude of it a little bit and kind of uh, give it a little bit more of a presence. And so now you got a nice big fat kick to work with. And uh, if, if you want it to have more of a, a sub presence as opposed to just like a, a quick attack kick you can always just go back into the delay of uh, both envelopes and just play around with them a little bit and that'll uh, make your sound make your kick drawn out a little bit more and might give you a little bit more of that sub appeal that you're going for for your latest hip hop track or uh, heavy bass track and I think that's about it for today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to ask. I will answer them to the best of my ability. And until then, happy synthesizing. Till next time.